you you have um, you have a very strong ethical compass, and so I, I, it's kind of a two part question, which is where does that come from? How how is it that you found your your ethical compass and and have such strong convictions? Um, and the other thing is, I, I'd like you to tell us what ethical leadership really means to you. Well, I think I think the sort of the compass comes from parents, and um, and and parents and who you surround yourselves with, friends, and and it's sort of that collective group of people. Uh, that influence you the most, and uh, so I would say that's largely the fact of, of others and uh, others that have influenced me over the years. In terms of ethics, I think when most people are, are many people in business think of ethics, they they think of um, accounting fraud and they think of insider trading and um, you know this and that sort of the the group of companies that did some bad things uh, with the Enrons, the Moral Comms, this kind of thing. But I don't, I, this is not what I think of because I think largely uh, those are very uh, extreme, small percentage of businesses. And, and so when I think of ethics, I think of leaving things better than you found them. And, and to me, that goes from everything from environmentally uh, to uh, how you work with suppliers with labor questions, uh, to your carbon footprint of your products, to the things you choose to support, to the way you treat your employees, uh, the way the, your whole persona to me fits under that umbrella. And, uh, and, and the simple way to think about it to me is leaving things better than you found them. And that's, that is what we try to do at Apple in a very simple way. And it's what, the way I try to lead my life.